Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to adjust the finder sorting options on your macOS device. Following this process will allow you to change the way that finder sorts your files and folders on your Mac, making it suit your personal preferences a bit better. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so this process will allow you to change the way Finder sorts your files on your Mac, which can make it a bit easier to manage your files and just make it work a bit better for your personal workflow. So today I'm going to demonstrate how we can do this. So I've got an example folder here that I'll just open up and you'll can, you can see that this folder contains a number of different file types. We've got a folder, an image, a video and also a DMG file, so like an installer type file. And you can see that they're all here in the finder. Now, currently we're in the grid view or the icon view. And if we come up, come up to the top here to where it has these four squares, we can then change it to a list view, which gives you a bit more uh, sort of details about what the file is and it can make sorting a bit easier. Now, currently we are sorting by name. You can see that's because it's in bold here. And if I click it, I can sort by alphabetical. So if it's going up, you can see that the, um, it's sorted in alphabetical order, or I can click it again and do reverse alphabetical order. I could also choose to sort it by date modified. So I could click date modified and it will sort it from newest to oldest or vice versa. So you can click it to reverse the direction. I could sort it by the size. Um, so from highest to lowest or vice versa again, or I could sort it by the kind. So that's the basic sorting options that are on here, but you can also add some of your own. So if you right click or control click onto this menu at the top here, you can add a few others such as date created, um, which for a lot of your files will be exactly the same, but some will be slightly different. Or I could choose to show tags. Uh, if that applies, you can see it's sort of made it a bit longer than the finder window here. So I now have to scroll or I can just make the window a little bit bigger here. You can see we've got tags. So if I uh, right click on one of the things and then add a tag, I could add a green tag there. You can see it shows up as green like so. And it also puts the little um, icon here and I can sort by whether they're tagged or not. So that's really helpful. Um, and some other options here, you can continue to right click and choose some other options like uh, date last opened, which can be quite helpful as well. Um, some of these don't apply on this computer, but you can see that uh, certain files would use that. If you want to remove any of these columns, you just click on it again and then remove the column. Um, so that makes it a bit easier for managing these columns so that you don't get too many of them and it gets a bit out of hand. So that's really helpful there. And we've got a few other view options here. You can see we've also got uh, the items as like a... Um, sort of a column view. So as we click into it, you can see it comes across the screen like that. Um, alternatively, you can also have it like a gallery, which can be helpful for some things, maybe like photos, but it's not probably the most useful view. I find list view is great if you want some details and icon view is great to see the previews of the icons. So they're the ones I usually switch between on a daily basis. You've also got some options on other sorting options up here. So this icon here, if you click that with the drop down, you've got some other options uh, on how you can sort them uh, into. Also, you can check, choose uh, which applications they're sorted by. So you can see that there when I sort it by applications. But you can see that it all sort of uh, ranges it and it just gives you a little bit more details with some of the sorting options. Um, so this is quite helpful here as well, or you can just put it back to name or none at all. You've also got options to share the files. So once you click on it, you can click share and you'll get the sharing menu. You can also click the tag icon and I could add another tag to this folder, for example, or this uh, image, and we could make it a blue tag 
for example, and it puts the blue there. And then we've got some other options like new folder, open a new tab, paste item, and then get info, quick look, use groups, sort by, and show view options. So there are all some options there of what you can do. So yeah, that's a very simple process on how you can adjust the sorting options in Finder on your macOS device. Hopefully this video was helpful and you've had some great success in playing around with some of these settings and making it work a bit better for you. It's sort of a bit of a trial and error type situation where um, you can sort of play around with some different designs and see which one you prefer the most. But if you do need a certain metric to sort by, then you can see that you can find it here and add it in and use it to help sort your items a little bit better. And with that, thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Let me know in the comments below if you've got any other video suggestions for me because I'm more than happy to make those if you'd like to see them. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.